Have you eaten lunch today? Check. Have you put your shoes on? Check. Have you not spat at the camera? Negative. But are you ready for some good carnage in the woods? I don't know if it's carnage, but yes, we're finally playing Screecher, the mod to don't starve, requested by none other than Pixely Tengu, who asked me to play this game in November. And I've tried and tried and it didn't work. I read through so many forums, it just didn't work. I tried it myself to, you know, fix the uninstall, repair, everything didn't work. Went to Cly Entertainment and talked on these forums, didn't work. And then I finally wrote the guys themselves in a personal mail and they said, I'm sorry, we know we have an issue and look how fast they fixed it. Two months later, we finally have access and just because I've had to wait so long, I'm doubly as excited. And I hope you are too, man, because now we're going to play this game. I don't know how and what the game is about. It's just supposed to be amazing. I've seen the title screen, the music, it sounds awesome. And let's just not talk anymore and see how awesome it is and just dive right in. What? What's wrong with this guy? Does he have too much energy? No, I had 10 cup, 11, 11, yeah, 11 cups of coffee today, so I'm sorry. Why did you have so many cups of coffee, Tyler? Cuz! I had to get up early, very early, so I'm really, really hyper. <laughs> Shut up, Tyler! Get into the game! You don't have to be a screecher, man. The screecher, a don't starve mod super super pumped for this why because the game itself i haven't played the main game don't starve especially because that's what pixely tengu requested and i thought okay let's just dive into this not knowing anything pillet creek january 1986 i've seen the graphics are all cute i mean like you know i've seen these pictures where you're like what was that sound I should get to go check it out. This doesn't look like the cutie graphics I saw on the screen. So you were like a little guy who had like these a haircut like like this kind of. I look dumb, Tylo. I know. I just try to describe it. I look like a different kind of a guy. Battery remaining, thirty percent. Right. Cool. Battery. It's totally different. The other game looked like you were looking from down top, but this is kind of three D ish. Duffel bag. You always like a duffel bag. A pack of batteries. Nice. He said, nice. Can't wait here anymore. I'm going to try to call the helicopter. I left my flashlight for you. See you soon. The helicopter. Sarah. No. Notes found. Pixely. Tengu. Are you kidding me, man? I don't know. I'm just speculating. Oh, look at the fire. It's all turning when I'm turning. It's a 2D fire. It has 2D effects on my 2D visual understanding of 2 visual. <laughs> and who am I? Do I have a hood on? Pixely, is this really some kind of... Really? Is this a Slenderman mod? You. This is not as cutesy pie as I thought, thought the cutesy pie thing would be. I can't jump. I can't strafe left and right. I can just walk straight. What is this game about, man? Really? Pitch dark if I don't... What? What are you doing? Don't. Helicopter port. Follow the sign. I can't follow these things. What? Hey there, girl. What's wrong with you, man? Girl? Get the light away from me. Why? Give me the backpack. Let me just steal some stuff. January 9th, the helicopter just dropped off. This place is amazing. This place is amazing and the, the tour guide seems really nice. It is so peaceful out here. No one around for miles. That's a good sign. All right, so we found notes. How do we find the helipad? Is that by... This, I don't have a good feeling about this game right now. This is not, not really what I signed up for. I mean, this was supposed to be Don't Starve, how to make a food cooking meal and not how to walk around in the night. Do you hear that? If I turn off the light, it's some... What? But it can't be that scary. It is still a drawn game. Should I just try to leave the flashlight off? The helipad is that way. Let's go for the helipad. Oh, look at this! A person looking away from me. I'm just 
gonna try this. Armpit, put the fire on. Good. January 12th, something rummaged around the camp last night. Things are getting weird. I haven't seen the Brazilian couple in days. It's so cold. Bill is trying to fix the generator. This looks more of a letter that is in, written in despair. Notes. So what's the goal? Finding the helipad or the notes? What happens if I found the notes? What are all the questions, the answers I got back? You okay there, buddy? What's going on here? Okay, so now we know the tone of the game. You look cute though when you're drawn, not when you smash up against my screen. Okay, pixely. This is different than I expected. Another campsite. Look, bedroll, duffel bag, some rags, Pillard Creek map, free helicopter transport, simply amazing! The most isolated compound in the state, I see, yeah, great. Thanks. Do I have an inventory? Oh, sweet. So we're down there. The fire, we found it here. Okay, a lake. There's a lake up ahead. Let's go check the lake. I just want to try this once. I'll leave the flashlight off because the sound gets a little more intense. I just want to see if... There's something out there. What? Didn't die. Still here, see, I'm using the mouse. We try. Okay, so we know something approaches when we don't have light. Pillard Creek, January 1986. Find a flashlight, found one right there. Duffel bag. Let's go find the notes. Light campfires to conserve battery. Okay, but why can I not tuck my campfire under my arms? It's a good question, Tylo. Just keep running through these woods of solitude. All right, so we'll just go like this. Right before the sound starts. Turn it on. But who's this creature? Who is he? Is he a guy who lives in these woods? Does he look for friends? Look, I even walk slower if I turn off the flashlight. Wow, the light effects. I love this. It's kind of an artsy looking game. Either you probably have to find the nine notes and you'll be okay, or you have to find the fire. Because we are on fire, man. We all on fire, Pixley. Right? Yeah, you said yeah. It's okay, little girl. I'm here to help you. Or maybe take your sack. <laughs> Did you see how I poked her? The helicopter is just after blah blah blah. Hold on, the map. Whoa, turn on the light. Something just ran by or some kind of the Brazilian couple. Yes, we'll probably find them eating up some there. I know. <laughs> See? Repeating scares. We're prepares. We are a yellow submarine. Hold on, wasn't there a map here? Dude. Give me that map there. Give me the map. Okay, so the items are placed different in different locations. It's the flashlight. Don't go out on me now. And I don't know if the level is randomly generated, but if my assumptions are right, we're gonna find a lake pretty soon right here. There it is. See? Okay, so it's not randomly generated. That's a good thing. Oh no, it's not a lake. It's a it's a cliff. Holy shit, that looks cool. With the grass overlapping. I love it. Is this what Don't Starve is like? It felt like a cutesy old game. Let's rummage through it. Roam. Roaming the backpack and a pair of pants. A vest. Junk. All of it. The amazing helicopter flyer. Oh, that's the map. Okay, we're gonna go up and right. That's what we're gonna do now. This is pretty easy so far. Couple of guys who were a little scared. One guy who was a little dead, and a girl, and a Brazilian couple, a jacket, and a couple of stones. January 14th, that's two days later. Bill went looking for the Brazilian couple, he still hasn't come back. I'm getting very, I'm getting really scared. There's something out there, in the woods. We needs to go as out of here's. I must find the guide. Who's the guide? A water thing? Faucet? Drink. All right, let's just leave the water on. It's probably there for some reason. The trees look cool. Trees look amazing. All right, helipad. Up and to the left, hold on. The map. Hmm, this is just a dead end, but maybe there's something back there, a clue or something. Let's go check it out, shall we? Looks sweet, looks awesome. Has a kind of a little manga feel to it. You remember Kill Bill? Like the cutscenes in Kill Bill, the manga cutscenes. Oh, I'm already back there. Let's keep walking up this path then. You're gonna be dead anyways if you don't have any flashlight battery life left. So it's kind of like a timer. 
As long as you have battery lights, you have life chances of survivalness. Sign says, that way. I will go and follow your signy rules. Hopefully some batteries here. Hold on, let's turn on the light, of course. What are you thinking, Tylo? Turn on the light. You're not a good hiker. I know, I know. It hunts those who stare. I don't stare. Is that blood on the floor? There's something out there! What? Didn't quite get this part. But it keeps me very, very curious. Curious. Kya cool quick. I wanted to say curious. All right, let's... Now we got the handle of this game. You see, Pixley? We just go from bag to bag. Turn on the flashlight, look for a helipad or two, and move. I don't know what happened there, guys. I really don't have a clue. I just died. And the sound sounded all squishy. Oh, little jolly Kelsey. We're gonna call you Kelsey. Very typical name for a cheerleader. And cheerleaders usually don't run away. They perform. So this happened within a span of seven days. This is the 9th of January, and the last note said... The 14th, so these guys survived longer than I did, because I just died after five minutes. These guys went through these woods for like nine days. No, four or five days. Maybe even six, seven days. Maybe even eight days. So far, a cool, sweet looking game with really artistic feel to it. Definitely a deep, intense, ambient feel to it. I got to say that. It's got to be said, it's got to be mentioned. And I love the running style of this guy. Do I have, wear like a hoodie or is it? Uh, oh look, it's old, I'm gonna die in a second guy. Look, the camp looks totally different. Before I'm gonna help the guy, I'm gonna light the fire. So I can see his face when he does his little skeleton facey thing. Pick up a bag. Uh, I am so alone. Look, he's always looking away. Don't turn around, man. I'm... R Come on, man. What are you doing? I'm trying to look at your face, you know? Eye contact with all the stuff. That's social interaction. All right, whatever, man. Die. <laughs> it's okay. We all have our fight in life. Still don't know if I'm wearing a hoodie. Or if it's just a bag over my head. I'm just gonna do this without the map this time. Because I feel confident. I feel like I wouldn't know in all the places. I feel like it's a new year with new possibilities and a new way of starting things out. So why not go against the grain? Heliport is that way. Thanks, sign that looked like the last sign with the exact same scratch marks on it. Tylo, stop it, okay? Okay, I won't diss the sign anymore. Duffel bag. Got a battery, got a box. Goes, okay, I won't. I'm just gonna run now, okay? Put on the... <laughs> Mrs. Corpse? Did you scream? Corpsey girl. That was... Okay, let's go to the helipad. Oh. It was cartoony, but it was still kind of uncutesy. How can I run away from this creature? The thing looked kind of like a wolf man. With very thin legs, like he did starve somehow. There he is! <laughs> Yeah, this is some... This is some intense shit, man. Kind of cutesy cartoony, but still kind of creepy cartoony. I feel like I just died because I did stare at it. I should probably, if I see it, just turn around. But at least I saw him. He looks like Moses without the food. He had a big beard. He looked like a hungry old man. Hello there, Kelsey. <coughs> no trick today? Okay. Let me have your backpack. Oh my god, what I found in there. Kelsey, you dirty girl. Put the tofu in your mouth and maybe eat it for a while. For a while eating whiles. Oh yeah, get the kelemopt map. The kelemopter. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, I'm a skeleton. Why can I still talk and make noises with my face balls? I don't know. You don't make noises around people like that, you know that? Yeah, I know you won't turn around. <laughs> Whatever, man. A fanny pack for my fanny. 
All right, I went through the fanny. Nothing there. Yes, I did get some batteries. Junk. All of it. Looking good so far, guys. I, I mean, I'm leaving a couple of notes out. I don't know if that's essentially what I need to get the helicopter right, but it's just notes. And who pays a helicopter pilot in notes, right? So it's probably just a hint, hey? I'm going with that theory. I'm just telling myself it's right. I'm just following the main path. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. I'm just trying to do it the right way to get to this helicopter port. And you don't know. No one knows. Don't look at it, look. I mean, the thing is hideous. It looks like Mosey. Mosey O'Donnell. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Blood everywhere, scattered about. Oh, that's why it... It hunts for those, it does. Where is it? Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Just turn around. Let him eat the woman. In peace. Okay, now look up. Oh, this is ugly. It looks kind of like a bird, though. But the woman out here, we should probably, you know, put a blanket around her face because it does not look well. What if her man finds her and says, Oh my god, guys. This used to be my woman and now she looks like a scrumptious old freaking steak. Do you know where the helicopter is? Do you? I don't know if you do. But don't you enjoy a game that has, like, artistry all over it? Written all over it. Drawn. Handly loved by the loving hands of a- Don't looking at you. I ain't looking at you, Screechy. Screech away from me, man. Don't be screeching on my sack. What is that up there? It's oh, man. Pizza guy. You must have been a fine feast for Mr. Screech. Oh, God. That's actually not what I wanted to see. Yeah, you're a good drawer, man. Whoa! An old tree stump. Another dead person. In a bag. Emergency frequency. You have to remember that? Helicopter manifest Russell Hayes. Watch out, the guy could be here somewhere. What? Just don't look at the monkey. Yeah, let's eat this guy. Oh god. So the game is all about not looking at the screecher and enduring with these hideous scary noises. This the noises really they cut through you like a like a knife, like they say. Probably what they say, right? <laughs> he stands funny though. Kinda has like these X legs. Hey dude. I'm Screechor. Truffle bag. Let's so look for some truffles. Truffles are pretty good to sell. <laughs> I wanted to almost go up and talk to him, but I don't think he's a very friendly person. I need a battery, man. Oh, there he still is. Let's not talk to him. Hideous man. I need battery stuff, man. The heliport. What are we gonna do in the heliport? Oh, 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 I'm hearing stuff. And a radio frequency. Oh shit, I can't remember, what was it? Maybe I can raise- <laughs> Screechy just standing there. Screechy just start, start generator. Start the generator. Okay, I'll do that, but you know, first I need to, you know, rummage through the bags of livery. To leave a bag, you need to brag. Go away, Lord Screech's thon. My batteries are almost out, and I need to find a little chopper ride for me right there. You wanna hop along? We're gonna go to Disneyland, have ourselves a little fun skis, and maybe even doing some happiness. Yes! Oh, the generator. Can't remember the frequency though. It was 1640 something, right? And now, landing lights. Turn them on. Screechy. Don't even try it, man. Gonna go for the helicopter lights. Where's the radio? Where's Screechy? We don't know. This is kind of a race against time. Okay, Screechy somewhere, I think. Turned on the radio, man. What am I supposed to do now? Once these are lit, the helicopter, then light them. Light them. Why is he not lighting them? Light him on fire. I hear a little music box somewhere, like in, uh... <laughs> what you... <laughs> What are you doing, man? Turn it on. Oh, I have to do. Oh, oh, I got you. Shit. Yes. So what are we doing now? The frequency, right? Looking good, guys. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't start my about Cly Entertainment. Thanks, Cly. That's what I was waiting for two months. You collected eight of nine notes. What a lovely song, 
Graham Yance, Jamie Chang, Brooke Miles, were you the dead guy on the floor? You were really acting good. You looked dead. Seth Rogen, almost. Aaron Boutillier. Boutillier? Matthew Martin Sone. Holy shit, Pantons. Alan Cortez. Jeff Gala. I can't read them all. I'm sorry. I'm just doing it to calm down. Ugh. Well, we got you the chopper. We did that. At least. I don't wonder if you can really get to the chopper if this is just the ending. Holy scrumptiousness. This is not a game that I expected to be. The game that I expected to be seeing in the screen seeing. No. You know, Don't Starve has this little picture of this cute little guy walking around in the woods and you think, I think you have to collect things like little, little items and together you can make a little food and try to don't starve. But apparently it's just a shocker. A good, but really? It had a few scary moments in it. Good request though, Pixely Tangu. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. Thank you for watching to all you guys. If you like the video, subscribe and hit me up with a comment if you like the game or what you thought about it or if you have any requests. So you guys have a good night and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>